Hello chicos, good morning, sean todos bienvenidos a este nuevo video de nuestra clase de inglés Siempre es de mucho gusto y mucho grado encontrarnos por aquí nuevamente So please, eh, nuevo comienzo del tercer bimestre y vamos a empezar con nuestra clase Nuevo tópico, presta mucha atención por favor en la siguiente explicación So please, let's start Today's topic, comparative and superlative adjectives Comparative and superlative adjectives Adjectives. So, adjectives has three forms or degrees: the positive, the comparative, and the superlative. One more time: adjectives has three forms or degrees: the positive, the comparative, and the superlative. So let's see now uses: positive, neat, happy, precious, difficult, and good. Then we have the comparative form, which is neither, happier, more precious, more difficult, better. Superlative, nearest, happiest, most, precious, most, difficult, and best. So, cabe, cabe anunciarles que acá, chicos, cuando hablamos de comparative, nosotros agregamos ER. Eso vamos a ver más adelante. Se le agrega ER. Y cuando hablamos de superlative, se le agrega ST. Pero tenemos algunos adjetivos que son irregulares, en lo cual se le, se le agrega el more en comparative y en superlative se le agrega el most. Y hay algunos más que son irregulares pero de otra versión que se le agrega o que se cambia. Better, best. Okay? En cambio se cambia tanto en comparative en superlative. So here, main point. Mainly for comparing we use done. Okay? Esto hay que tener en cuenta por favor. Nos dice... Principalmente para comparar se usa el dan. Example, Panchito is happier than Pepito. Panchito is happier than Pepito. B. Smith is the happiest in his family. Smith is the happiest in his family. Ok, entonces chicos vamos a ver más ejemplos en lo siguiente. Entonces es importante mencionar, por favor, tener en cuenta los adjetivos irregulares porque... La mayoría pregunta, pero profe, ¿por qué cambia? Entonces, todo ello. So, please, more examples on the following. Here, continue. How do you form them? How do you form them? ¿Cómo se forman ellos? One. Adjectives with one, or, with one syllable and some two syllable ones have a comparative form ending in ER and a superlative form ending in EST. Adjectives with one syllable and Some two syllable ones have a comparative form ending in er and a superlative form ending in est. Okay, how is that? Examples: clean, cleaner, cleanest, narrow, narrower, narrowest. Okay, so number two: if the adjectives end in e, you just add er or est. est. If the adjectives end in E, you just add er or est. Okay, just that. Nos dice que cuando los adjetivos terminan en una E, solo se agrega la R o la ST. Examples. Close, closer, closest. Here, as we can see, there is just E. So we can say gentle, gentler, gentlest. Gentle, gentler, gentlest. Okay. Number three, some adjectives have irregular comparative and superlative form. Some adjectives have irregular comparative and superlative form. Examples. Good, better, and best. Lo que les mencioné en la introducción. Bad, worse, and worst. Okay. So we have uh, those irregular points that we have to keep in mind. Okay. So please, until here, I just want you to understood, please, all the class that we talk. Because then, after this, we have some examples that we are going to answer. Okay, let's continue. Practice one. Complete the sentences. Here we are going to complete what we learned. Number one, Canada is bigger than China, but Russia is the biggest country. Number two. Monkeys are smaller, but ants are smallest. Number three, giraffes are the tallest land animal. Number four, 
boys usually have shorter shorter hair than girls of course shorter um, number five lamps are brighter but the sun is brightest and number six mars is uh, farther from earth but neptune is farthest okay so please here we have another practice that we are going to answer this one is for you please I am going to answer just one. B. Complete the second part of the practice. Here we have to order the sentences. Putting order them. Okay. John has got uh, new light trousers. John has got new light trousers. C. Mary likes bigger clothes. Mary likes bigger clothes. Okay. The rest is for you. So please. I just want you to understand, please, as I said again, we are going to explain more about it on our conference. So please uh, study, check it out, practice the examples, and make a short review about this, please. Then we will have an evaluation, and all of you, you're going to get 20 points. Okay, that's it, please. Thank you so much for being here, and goodbye.